Hello, my name is Mike Whitehill, director of uh, the upcoming Churchill production, uh, Rabbit Hole, a drama by David Lindsay Abair. Our production mounts on August 9th and runs through August 25th. Uh, we'll be performing on Friday and Saturday nights at 8 p.m. and Sundays at 2. On August 18th, at the end of the matinee production, approximately 4 o'clock, we'll be having a symposium on the play uh, uh, to which we invite everyone who has an interest in the subject matter uh, of this play and uh, would like to talk to the actors about their methods of preparation and what we've all learned from doing this production. Uh, to my immediate left is uh, Ms. Christine Kinlock. Hi, I'm playing the role of Becca Corbett in the play. Hi, I'm actually Becca Webb, and I'm working stage crew in production. A little confusing having two Beccas here. <laughs> <clears throat> the, uh, the, this play is, uh, is a drama about the, the effects of a uh, devastating accident uh, where the uh, a, a fairly young couple's son was killed in an uh, um, automobile accident. The, this play explores the uh, ways, individual ways that all of us uh, kind of um, discover and live through our own uh, uh, grief management. And uh, uh, what I think the, is most interesting in this play is the effects of each individual's um, method of dealing with uh, this tragedy, uh, the effects that it has on the overall family structure and how difficult it is to reunite the family uh, in the presence of this looming um, uh, and unfortunate uh, uh, disaster. Uh, uh, Christine plays Becca, which is the uh, wife uh, of, of the uh, uh, Howie Corbett, and uh, her son Danny is the boy that is killed. Uh, I'll have you tell a little bit about uh, about what Becca uh, goes through in this play. I think the the difficult part about Becca is that she, at the beginning of the play, isn't really dealing with her grief very well. I think there's a lot of anger and a lot of it gets misplaced sometimes. I, I don't even know why I said that. Just being mean, I guess. Besides, it's not like we're getting rid of everything. Don't do that. Quick and clean like a band-aid, otherwise we'll never get through this. But throughout the play, I think through her connections with her family and actually through a meeting with the, the boy who accidentally killed her son, um, she learns a little bit about how to process her grief. Mom, does it go away? What? This feeling, does it ever go away? No, I don't think it does. Not for me, anyway, and that's going on 11 years. It changes, though. How? I don't know. The weight of it, I guess. At some point, it becomes bearable. It, it turns into something you can crawl out from under and carry around with you like a brick in your pocket. And you forget about it every once in a while. And then you reach in for whatever reason and it's like, oh right, that. We've spent a lot of time at the very beginning of this play uh, reading through and studying the dialogue. There's not a wasted word in it. And uh, the, uh, an interesting part of this uh, directorial process for me has been to mine the, uh, the beats or the, uh, the, ch the changes in thought and, and movement that each actor goes through in this because it's so deliberate and well scripted uh, that we didn't want to do any uh, you know, injustice to the script or to the playwright. Uh, so we spent a lot of time studying that. And it really is paying off in the end because just as, as Christina said, uh, the, uh, the blocking and the movements on stage are becoming much, much more organic and, uh, and completely naturalized uh, with the great help of uh, an incredible dialogue. And, uh, and Becca, you've been watching this as assistant uh, director from the, from the sidelines. Uh, can you say a little bit about what your, uh, the, the growth of the, of the individualized um, um, grief uh, has been for you when you've seen it from the sidelines? It's been really neat to watch the evolution because no one here, fortunately, has had that close of a 
contact with that thing in real life. And so to see them start out kind of unsure, how do I portray this and be able to work with each other um, in order to develop fully has been really neat. Uh, one of Becca's lines is, you don't grieve better, you just grieve different. And the neat thing about this is that each individual character, you can see the difference of grief come through, uh, through the actors. And that's been one of the most incredible parts to watch off stage. Definitely come see the show because it's totally worth it. Every actor up there, I watched them grow and I'm just so excited to share them with an audience that can appreciate them, you know, in the same way that I've been watching them throughout the coming month or the past months. Yeah, Becca gives uh, very, very good notes. Uh, she's a very <laughs> observant uh, assistant director and is much more, uh, uh, um, um, precise than I am at many times. Uh, again, uh, uh, Rabbit Hole Churchill Theater production will be uh, uh, opening on August 9th, running through August 25th. Uh, we will be performing on Friday and Saturday nights uh, during that time at 8 p.m. And on Saturdays, on Sundays, excuse me, we'll be uh, having our matinees at 2 p.m. Uh, again with a uh, symposium on the play with the entire cast and crew on August 18th after the matinee performance. You may make reservations online at uh, www.churchilltheater.org or certainly call the theater at 410-758-1331 for reservations. Uh, we'd love to have you make your reservations early so we can uh, uh, try to plan our events and make sure that we are uh, properly prepared for you, uh, particularly on the symposium day. Thank you.